good morning it is 20 to 8 and i am heading out i have a lot planned today and i thought i'd take you guys with me and try and show you what i kind of do during a normal day um where i have a lot of things to do um i might forget to film some parts and tell you about them later because i'm really bad at remembering that i wanted to film that day so without further ado i have to go Do you also know this weird feeling when you're like smiling at someone because they waited to cross the street so you could um, say go past them and then you smile at them and thank you thank them and they look at you as if you were a really weird person and if they should know you. It happened to me three times this morning. So the one that I normally have is not in stock. One supermarket done. Now I'm gonna get some breakfast. I am finally back. It took me, I think, one and a half hours, at least up to two hours to get all this stuff and to cycle into town, come back here, get all the stuff. In the end, I was in three different supermarkets to get the stuff I needed. So here we have everything. Today we want to make um, hamburgers. So there's some buns, some tomatoes, some pickles, some burgers for me. I haven't tried these yet. I'm curious. I don't know. We'll see. I'll tell you later. Then I've got several energy bars. And this one also. It's a bit different. I think it's like a tofu soy. Si Satan. Ah, it's Satan. Thing I wanted to try. And some lemons and some... Um, like quick energy sugar fix. I am really, really hungry right now. I've left the house without having eaten anything. So I'm gonna have a huge breakfast now because I'm gonna do some cycling later and I need all the energy I can get for that. See you at breakfast. This is the breakfast I'm having. I've got two slices of bread with margarine and pickles, which is an awesome combination. You have to try it. One vegan croissant and coffee with milk. Since I discovered that they sell vegan croissants at a bakery near, nearby, I've been having like one a week or every other day just because they taste so damn good. They're really dense. I don't know if you can see that. And they have a slight like cinnamon taste to them. And actually I prefer them over real croissants because real croissants are often so airy and they crumble in your mouth and this one is you just bite into it and it's oh, just so good. Mm. Perfect. Hi, so I wanted to just quickly wanted to show you what I'm wearing. Originally I wanted to wearing like all sports clothes but I only had a tank top um, ready and it is so hot outside that I was afraid I was gonna burn my shoulders in the sun. So I'm wearing this like very, very thin shirt. This is one of the best ways to wear your hair when uh, cycling because you can actually wear your helmet. Cannot forget my sunglasses. Just some sports pants and socks, which are gonna look really, really nice with my with the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing. But hey, it's not about fashion, it's about functional functionality. So this is my backpack situation. I have got this very small backpack that I got off eBay for 5 euros, which was a bargain even if it lasts me a year or something. 
So all I'm going to take is going to fit in here. I've got some reusable tissues and some eye drops because of the hay fever that I've got. Um, both of them <laughs> go in here. One energy bar, which I haven't tried before, but I'm really excited too because it's sour apple flavor. Sounds delicious. My glasses and my contact lenses in case I have to take my contacts out because of the hay fever. Headphones, my menstrual cup because you never know. Some gummy bears, my keys, a watch, some money and my ID. Um, water, which I'm going to fill up on the way. And my light and the clip-on thing for the phone, which I'm filming with. That is all I'm going to take. And I hope to see you on the road the next time we speak. <laughs> my boyfriend's laughing at me. <laughs> now, so we are at our first stop in the middle of nowhere. It is incredibly beautiful, but so warm. I'm going to show you in a second. So far we did 34 kilometers in roughly two hours and we have another I think 16 or 15, 16 to go until we reach our turning point and now we're gonna go for ice cream and yeah it's really warm but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> quite stupid doing that alone at home it's different to film alone at home when no one is watching you and listening to what nonsense you're talking <laughs> yeah he is laughing at me but yeah anyway the helmet is quite useful because I have no direct sun on my head but it's also very warm on the forehead but yeah I'm gonna show you around a bit and this is what it looks like where we are now. Yeah, some other cyclists. And we are following these signs. Just a church in the middle of nowhere. This is where we came from and this is where we're going. And the second stop is for ice cream. Mine is blueberry and watermelon. And This is how beautiful it is here. But now to the important stuff before it melts away completely. It's more like drinking ice cream. <laughs> and done. After two minutes. So, so far we are at almost 45 kilometers and we're almost halfway so we are at our turning point but <laughs> don't but we're gonna do some um turns and we're gonna visit a what do you call that wildlife reservoir <laughs> place where wild animals live <laughs> yeah this is what happens when english is not your first language by the way you invent funny words so yeah, that's where we're heading now. See you there. And here we are. Can you see them? There are so many. And there are even more on the other side.
Das ist auch richtig schön, wenn man noch so ein bisschen hier die Kastanien im Bild hat. It is so incredibly beautiful here, guys. It is so calm and quiet, you wouldn't believe it, and it's just outside of town. This definitely wasn't the last time I was here, for sure. He's trying to throw the trunk. <laughs> so now we are trying to find the exit because we have no idea where we are. So we are a little bit over 80 kilometers in, about 12 more to go. The sun is setting, but look at how beautiful the colors are. My bike. And the railway. I think next time I'll be at home. We're finally back and I am just exhausted. I don't know if you can see it in my eyes. I mean, it's already quite dark outside and I've got the light on, but they're so red from all the like insects flying into it and all the pollen, pollen, pollen from the trees. I'm, I'm just really exhausted right now. In, it, in the end, it recycled, so you see, I can't really talk. Recycled 94 kilometers and a little bit over seven hours but there were also the breaks um in between that we had so yeah we're gonna make some food now which i'll show you later and i had one more thing ah, I, where do i have it there it again it's this my favorite energy bar but there is no energy left nothing so we are going to make some proper food now and just sit on the sofa and relax and take a shower because i really need to shower and at quarter past 10 i'm finally having dinner for now i'm gonna have one burger with a patty tomatoes pickles fried onions mustard ketchup and lettuce maybe i'm gonna have another one I don't know yet, but that is it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye.